profane messages left in office voice mailboxes. There are millions of people across the country who wish you ill. Bricks hurled through windows and a gas line cut at a family member's home. Lawmakers are revealing more details of threats against them in the aftermath of the health care vote. Those expressions and those acts of vandalism and those threats uh, of, of, of more have no place in the civil debate uh, in our country. The latest in a long string of incidents happened Thursday at the New York office of Democrat Anthony Weiner. Hazmat crews were called to the building after a note laced with a suspicious white powder was discovered inside. And Democrats aren't the only targets. Gene Smith, when you got hit by that car or when you fell or whatever, you should have broke your back. In Virginia, a bullet was fired into the front window of a House Republican leader's campaign office. Even though Congressman Eric Cantor has joined Democrats in condemning those kinds of attacks, that's where the agreement seems to end. I have deep concerns that some DCCC Chairman Chris Van Hollen and DNC Chairman Tim Kaine in particular are dangerously fanning the flames by suggesting, suggesting that these incidents be used as a political weapon. Chip Burley, a political analyst at a Massachusetts think tank, says he believes anxieties about the economy, race, and social issues are what's pushing some Americans into an angry frame of mind. You have a very bad economy that's hurt a lot of people, and that's a completely realistic anxiety. So that's making people worried about the, the direction of the country. You have the um, election of a black president, and, in, and even though a lot of people voted for Obama, a lot of white people just don't know what to make of a black guy who's the boss. And then you have all these shifting roles with men and women and gay people and abortion, and nobody quite knows how that's going to work out. While the motivation behind the threats may be based on similar features, Years, the Senate Sergeant at Arms tells the AP there's no evidence that the calls and emails are part of a coordinated effort. Myra Lopez, the Associated Press.